Dark Horse by Katy Perry. I am in love with this song, so I'm really excited to teach it to you today, so let's go ahead and get into it. All right, starting off, you're going to need a capo here on the first fret, and you're gonna go ahead and start off with an A minor. Next up, we have a G major. Next up, we're going to have a C major. Dum dum dum, the F. Oh. All right, now if you don't know how to build any of these chords that I just previously mentioned, like I always say, don't fret. Everything is going to be okay, but just check down below in the description box. I have links to each separate chord tutorial so you can study them up. Come on back and learn how to play Dark Horse. All right, now moving along into the strumming in the song, I have two different patterns that we're going to use. We have four downs and one up, so it's going to sound like this. Down, 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 up. So just remember that that last down flies right back up. So down, 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 up. All right, now moving along to the G and F chords, they are going to have shorter patterns because they are quick chord changes. So we're just going to have down, down, up for both of those chords. So it'll sound like this. Alright, now getting into the picking part of the song, which I personally think is a lot of fun. This is great if you have a friend that wants to play with you, one of you can do the picking, one of you can do the strumming, or if you just want to blend both of them together, that also sounds really great. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and start with the intro picking part, which is the hardest part because it is really fast, but I'm going to break it down, take it slow, and make it easy for you to follow. So what we're going to do is start out on what would be fret 9, but because we have our capo on the first fret, Fret 9 becomes fret 8, so we're going to be playing on frets 8, 7, and 5. We're going to assign our fingers to each fret, so on fret 8, we're going to have our pinky finger, fret 7, our ring finger, and fret 5, our index finger. So we're going to be picking the strings high E and B. Alright, so starting off, take your pinky finger, place it on the high E string on the 8th fret, and go ahead and pick it once. Now go ahead and move down to the 7th fret, ring finger, same string, go ahead and pick it once. Alright, now we're going to go ahead and move down to the 5th fret, index finger, same string, pick it once. And then just move that index finger up one string to the B string and go ahead and pick it once. And then it's going to repeat, so it's going to sound like this. And then what you're going to do is after you repeat that 14 times, you're going to go back to that 8th fret high E string and pick it once. And then you're going to go ahead and go into the second picking pattern. Alright, now the second pattern is very similar to the first, but it's a lot easier to pick because it's much slower and a lot of the notes are actually repeated. So we're going to go ahead and go back to that 8th fret to the high E string, and we're going to go ahead and pick it four times. So one, two, three three, four, move down to the seventh fret, same string, then we're only going to pick it twice, one, two, move down to the fifth fret, same string, pick it once, move up to the B string, pick it once. So it goes one, two, three, four, one, two, one, one. All right, now I'm just going to bring it together, but still make it slow enough so you guys can just follow along. articulate the notes. You don't want them to blend together or else it'll sound like this. See the difference between that and this? Alright, so what we're doing is called a hammer off. And a hammer off is when 
you pick a note and then you release the pressure right after. So it'll sound like this. So that is how you have that kind of break in between each note that you pick. So it kind of accentuates it a little bit and it sounds really cool. So what you do is actually, you never take your fingers completely off of the strings. Your fingers are always going to be touching the strings. You're just going to let up on the pressure. So right now I'm pressing down and picking and now I'm letting off. Now my finger is still touching the string. I just let up on the pressure and that's how you're going to get that effect. So now we know the chords, the picking, and the stirring for this song. So with all that being said, and without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. I knew you were. and find it easy to follow. If you have a song that you would like to request, leave me a comment down below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel either up here in this corner or down below this video so that way when I do request you'll know when it's up and don't forget that you can also follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus, and Instagram. You can follow me, friend me, tweet me, send me a message. I love talking to you guys. It's a great way to connect and just to know when I'm posting up my new videos. I think that is pretty much it, so I want to thank you so much for joining me in this lesson today. I really appreciate it, and I look forward to seeing you all next time. Bye, everyone!